Greetings, I am Wham Bam Duel, and welcome to my explanation of Spell Commander's latest deck profile, The Modern Playmaker. I highly recommend watching his video first, as this one is meant to go more in depth with some of the choices made when creating this deck. Since Vrains is the last current Master Duel anime and only finished five years ago, so not everybody has seen it, I will issue a spoiler warning, as major plot points from some of the final episodes will be brought up in this video. Starting off with my main deck monster choices, let's establish the basic outline I had for them. There are a few monsters that are mandatory because they're iconic to Playmaker's deck. Those being Cyber's Wizard, Cyber's Synchron, Cyber's Magician, Clock Wyvern, and Backup Secretary. Naturally, Clock Wyvern and Cyber Synchron are more important fusion and synchro material for Yusaku, with Parallel Exceed being the most prominent way to Exceed Summon a rank 4 in this deck. Because I wanted to run the rank 3 Cyber's Reminder as well, in addition to the aforementioned Backup Secretary, I also added in Widget Kid, Flame Bufferlo, and Code Generator as additional level 3 monsters. Speaking of Code Monsters though, because Playmaker's Extra Deck predominantly features Code Talkers and Firewall Monsters, I added in all of the main deck Code and Firewall Monsters, with the sole exception of Rocket Coder, who seems more like a card that Revolver would entrust to Playmaker for the final duel he had against I, along with the Borlode Furious Dragon that he actually did give to Playmaker. Even though we're not running Borlode Furious, as it doesn't really work well with the Cyber strategy requiring dragon materials and all, and the cards Yusaku used to summon it in the anime are still currently anime exclusives, I would like to take a quick moment to speculate which real-world cards Yusaku would use to summon Borlod Furious Dragon should the situation for it arise. My picks are the Mud Dragon monsters. Baby and Muddy are both dark dragons, and Mud Dragon can also turn into a dark monster if it needs to be. And cards like Baby Mud Dragon can help change the types and attributes of monsters to help make Furious Dragon work. Muddy Mud Dragon even has a built-in effect that allows it to fusion summon. In addition to this, it also has use for Yusaku's other main fusion monster, Cyber's Clock Dragon as it can use itself as a substitute for Clock Wyvern, if need be. So even though these cards aren't in the deck, if Vrains were written today, I imagine these would be the cards Playmaker would have used in his duel with I, and they likely would have been given to him by Revolver. For the rest of the main deck monsters, I basically just went with Cyber's good stuff. White Hat is a free summon if Playmaker controls two monsters. Gadget is what you get when you give Junk Synchron a token spawning effect. Converter is basically just a free summon and works well with our tuners for summoning Cyber's Reminder. Lady Debug is basically just a Stratos. Balancer Lord is an additional normal summon. Widget Kid is another free summon. Flame Bufferlo offers hand fixing, and Four Mud Skipper helps to search out bigger monsters. Lastly, but certainly not least, Cyber Sage is an absolute godsend of a monster. It's a ritual tuner that can fusion summon. So that's three of the extra deck types Playmaker needs to empower Firewall Dragon Singularity all in one card, and it has a recovery effect. With the spells, I obviously wanted to include Cyanet Fusion and Ritual for summoning. Then there's Cyanet Mining and Cyanet Codec for searching and consistency. Cynet Optimization and Link into the Vrains for Field Swarming, and Cynet Rollback, Storm, and Link Bound for Recovery. Additionally, I really like Cynet Storm because it references Yusaku's Storm Access skill, so he gets to randomly excavate one of his cards in the extra deck, and if it's a Cybers Link, which most of them are, he'll just get to summon it for free. For the traps, there's Firewall Support with Cynet Circuit, Code Talker support with Cynet Conflict, Code Hack, Limit Code, and Recoded Alive, and then more generic Link support and Swarming with Port Armor and Packet Link. With the side deck, I wanted to nod to some more of Yusaku's classic monsters like Bitron and its armored form, Ram Clouder, and Draconet. Then there's the 26 card extra, because Yusaku loves to Link Climb and Wombo Combo. Backup Supervisor and Cyber's Enchanter are here because they're the upgraded forms of Yusaku's two most recognizable main deck monsters from early Vrains. 
Witch and Splash Mage are here for ritual support and swarming, although Cyber Switch can do both, which is quite nice. Then there's D Save Worm, who's arguably the best Cyber Fusion on the market. Much like Cyber Sage, it really helps set up multiple summon mechanics for singularity plays. Integrator does much of the same, being an easy to make synchro that helps to both synchro and link climb, and it's a level 3 for Cyber's Reminder, who's good for recovering Cyanet back row, and getting necessary materials for Firewall Exceed Dragon, because it can bring out two level 4s. Clock Dragon and Quantum Dragon are mostly just here because of how much use Yusaku got out of them in the anime. Then we have every code talker because it's important for Yusaku to have a lot of different attributes both in the main and extra deck for the purposes of Neo Tempest Terahertz, but most of these are also pretty great too, not all of them. Lastly, the Firewalls are all Yusaku's biggest boss monsters, with, with Neo Tempest Terahertz just being a strict upgrade over Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. Since this is another list with an oversized extra deck, I'll pick out which 11 cards I think can probably chill out in the side deck. Those being Backup Supervisor, Code Enchanter, Cyber's Clock Dragon, Cyber's Quantum Dragon, Code Talker, Decode Talker, Decode Talker Extended, Encode Talker, Xcode Talker, Power Code Talker, and Shooting Code Talker. All of these cards are more sort of fun novelty cards that reference Yusaku's journey in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. So while they can't be left out of the deck list, it also can't be denied that these monsters don't really help to link climb or help Yusaku bring out his best monsters. They're more meant to be monsters that are kind of standalone and meant to do their own thing on the field. But just as I said before, if there are other cards you think would work better in the side deck, feel free to let me know. Obviously, there are a lot of Cybers monsters and related cards that weren't included in this deck. So rather than go through all of them, I'm going to pick out a few relevant ones. The reason Protron wasn't included over Bitron, despite likely being better for being a level 1, is because I also feel like Protron isn't as recognizable as Bitron, who even went on to become a Master Duel mate. Link Slayer is another iconic Yusaku card that got left off this list, but that's because it only works if Yusaku controls no monsters and a lot of his monsters like to leave something behind if they are destroyed or leave the field, so the only time this effect will realistically pay off is if it's Yusaku's first turn of the duel. Proxy Horse is a good monster, but its effect is already made somewhat irrelevant by the fact that the code monsters can already be used as link materials from the hand. Sea Archiver is a very good monster, but I feel like cards such as Cyber's Gadget do a way better job of helping to swarm the field. Dotscaper is basically just two monsters in one, but Yusaku doesn't really run a gold sarcophagus to banish this guy from the deck with. Elphase and Update Jammer are both very good Link 2 monsters that Yusaku used, but the extra deck has become very centered around getting to Access Code and the Firewall monsters, both of whom can do plenty on their own without these monsters both of whom can do plenty on their own without these two monsters. Security Dragon is basically just half of Firewall Dragon as shown by its overall design and link arrows, and it feels somewhat irrelevant when the average starting hand in this deck can make Firewall Dragon with its condition fulfilled. It can even get to Firewall Singularity on a good hand. Clock Spartoy and Cyber's Wicked both help to access Cyanet Fusion and Tuner monsters respectively, but the deck does a good enough job of searching Cyanet back row and Cyber's monsters that I felt their usefulness was a bit lower than Cyber's Witches, who searches both the ritual spell and a ritual monster, circumventing the need for cards like Pre-Preparation of Rites, which, come to think of it, wouldn't even work with a card like Cyanet Ritual anyways. Talkback Lancer's effect is super limiting. The better Link 1 Code Talker support is obviously Link Decoder. Link Disciple and Link Devotee simply use up too many cards for too little reward. And lastly, as sad as I am to say it, Link Karibo isn't here because it's banned. Thanks, Snake Eyes. But if you play this deck in Master Duel, at least you can set Link Karibo as your mate. 
There are a lot of Cyburst, Cynet, and Link back row that I didn't include, but they either just don't do enough for the deck, or they were dropped in favor of cards that more closely oriented around Yusaku's ace monsters. That pretty much does it for the deck. Let me know your thoughts down below. Until next time, I've been Wham Bam Duel, and I'm always happy to see you.